Hey everyone, Chad Van Herp here with 360fitcoaches.com and your personal training authority here at Roadrunner Sports. And today I'm addressing a matter that hits close to home for me. And it's the fact that as runners, a lot of times you all aren't making time for strength workouts. I know a lot of times life can get busy and in between training runs and things to do at work and between kids sports and activities, a lot of times it just gets lost, okay? But it's just so important that we're making this a priority because if you want to continue to run and avoid some of the injuries we've addressed in past videos, you've got to be doing this stuff, okay? You've got to be strong to run strong. So we're starting a series here of seven minute workouts where we're gonna address different body parts each time to really give you no excuses. There's gonna be no equipment necessary and it's a minimal amount of time. There's nothing to hold you back from doing these exercises and getting the strength training results that you need to keep you running healthy. What we're starting with today is a core series. And what I'm gonna teach you to do is just a few simple exercises. Again, using just minimal equipment. I've got a slide board and sliders here, but you do not need this fancy equipment. And again, this isn't too fancy, it doesn't cost much. You can replicate this setup with a couple of furniture sliders from Home Depot. You can see these say Ace on them. Something you use to move your furniture that costs eight bucks, almost nothing. Pick those up at any Home Depot or Lowe's or if you have a hardwood floor or a tile floor, simply grab a dish towel or a bathroom towel. Really, there's no excuse. You can make this work with any type of equipment that you can find around the house. Okay, so getting into this core workout, we're gonna move through a spine stability exercise first called the front plank with a body saw and a pike. Okay, so stay tuned. We're about to get into that first exercise right now. Okay, you guys, the first exercise we're gonna do is gonna really target the transverse abdominis or the deep abdominals. Also, rectus abdominis or those typical six-pack muscles you always think of when you really are thinking about your abs. And this is a front plank with a body saw and a pike. You're gonna get your toes dead center on the sliders here, not on the front, not on the back. Really plant your elbows on the ground firmly. I like to interlock my fingers just to create stability and therefore more strength. You're gonna tuck your hips under and squeeze your butt with your head right over your hands. Now without letting your hips drop or sag, you're gonna push straight back, dig your elbows in and pull back through, and then up into a pike. Now that was a little bit slow motion. You wanna kind of fuse the movements together so they're nice and smooth, and always keeping it under control and really focusing on keeping the tension in your abdominals. Breathe in on the way out out on the way in. Now you're gonna do that for 45 seconds or until you're feeling a really solid burn in your abs. That might be a little bit longer or a little bit less for some of you. Then we're moving immediately, you guys. There's gonna be no rest, okay? We're, we're working on endurance muscles here. The core musculature is all endurance muscles meant to be there for you all day. And especially when you're running, they've gotta be turned on the whole time. So no rest. You're gonna hook your feet under something solid such as a coffee table or the bottom of your couch. If it's uncomfortable on the tops of your feet, simply put a towel or a pillow between the anchor point and your feet. And you're gonna round your spine here because your abs, rectus abdominis in particular, is responsible for spinal flexion or rounding of the spine. So keep curled over. Think about dropping your ribs down toward your hips. Slowly lower yourself down, rolling one vertebrae at a time, stopping just before your shoulder blades hit the ground, coming up and crunching down. See a lot of people doing this one really jerky and really using too much momentum, letting their hips jump up off the ground. But you wanna stay slow and controlled and really squeeze down at the top. If you need more resistance and intensity, simply bring your hands up overhead, just barely resting on your head though. You don't wanna be pulling from behind. You don't wanna be pulling from your neck. Now, once you've done that for 30 seconds, you're gonna sit back halfway hands across your chest, keep your spine curled over in flexion and rotate side to side for 15 seconds with this Russian twist just to get a nice little burnout and get the obliques involved and introduce rotation to our core work. Getting a nice burn there, 
So you're gonna come right off of there. And again, no rest, we're moving right into a side plank. So we're gonna address lateral trunk flexion. Again, working the obliques just like the Russian twist, but through side bending instead of rotation. So what you're gonna do is just stack your feet. Make sure your elbow's planted firmly directly under your shoulder. Don't have that elbow out in front of you. It's gonna leave your shoulder real susceptible to injury and it creates a lot less stability. Now from here, you're gonna lock it in, drop the hips down, pull the hips up, and try to squeeze this underside flank of your core there. Again, your obliques. Drop, up, squeeze, and hold. Drop slow, up, squeeze, and hold. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're going 30 seconds each side here. Okay, once you hit your 30 seconds on each side, the last exercise in the circuit is gonna address the lower back and the glutes, all big parts of your core. And everything we've done thus far is focused on the front of your abs, the deep core, and the sides. So we gotta make sure we really complete the circuit and get that lower back and posterior chain involved. What we're gonna do here is just a Superman reach. You're gonna lie on the ground, squeeze your butt and retract your shoulder blades. Really elevate your legs, your shoulders and hands and head as high up off the ground as you can. And then slowly reach forward and keep those hands right up at ear level. Don't let the arms drop to the ground. So you'll feel your core really having to cinch up and pull tight as you slowly reach those arms forward and then keep those glutes tight and keep it under control. Again, this is the last exercise in the circuit. 30 second hold here. Once you finish, you're gonna finish off with just this nice gentle child's pose to get those lower back muscles back to resting length. Good, so that's the first round through. You're doing two rounds. Okay, that only takes three minutes. Then you're gonna start right back into that front plank with the body saw on a pike, sit-ups with a Russian twist, side plank to crunch, and that's Superman reach. Like I said, you guys, no excuses. It's seven minutes, it doesn't take long, but as you can see, after about three and a half minutes, I'm already out of breath. So do what you need to do, be strong to run strong, and no excuses. If you have any questions, if the movements are too difficult for you or just not feeling right, if you're having pain and discomfort, feel free to message me on Instagram. You can find me at 360 Fit Coaches there. That's my handle. And feel free to ask me any questions. I'll be sure to get back to you in a, with a prompt response time. All right, you guys. Like I said, this is the first video in a series. We're gonna be doing more to come. Stay tuned, be safe, and I'll see you on the road.